It's a feature, not a bug. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about new features coming to the game of Apex Legends. We're going to go over what is coming and what isn't coming, because there seems to be a lot of misconception between the two. Along with that, we hit 68,000 subscribers, so thank you guys, and we have 6,800 Apex coins to give away. We'll be doing another giveaway. All you got to do is leave a comment down in the bottom of this video and be subscribed, and I will pick a winner for the 6,800 Apex coins. Now, let's go over some of those features we can be looking forward to. So the first one to go over in the most talked about one is the fact that mobile version will be getting a 6v6 team deathmatch mode and we will also be seeing this in the regular apex legends and right now they have some of the same maps such as artillery but there will also be one called market and we have a very good indication why this is coming to the main game and that is because shrug tall actually found game files for regular apex indicating a possible 12v12 mode a capture mode and a bunch of other different types of game modes the person who also internally leaked this to me, who was 100% right about the features coming in this mode months before it was ever officially seen, also let me know that it would be coming to the main save version of Apex Legends, and it seems to line up with everything else. So team deathmatch mode and other variants of it will be coming to regular Apex. This is something you can be looking forward to. Now this next one actually involves Apex packs and loot ticks, and what you can do is you can store 10 Apex packs like you normally would if you don't want to open every single one every time you get it, and you'll get an animation where that one loot tick will then ping the other 10 as you start opening the packs. You'll be able to see every item you got within it and you don't have to sit through the animations one by one. As much as I would love to see this in the main game of Apex Legends, I really don't see that happening as it would require a complete overhaul of the code they currently use to open Apex packs. Mainly, this is something that you will only see in the mobile version, I believe, but who knows? Maybe they surprise us, maybe we get something cool. Next up would be the firing range changes that they have planned. The first thing is that mobile will have infinite ammo, there will be dummies that run around, and there will also be a way to change the settings within the firing range to better optimize a 1v1 against your friends. And it is seen from Josh Medina that they are eyeing it and it is definitely something that I believe Respawn with all the feedback they've received is actually working on for the main game. I would expect a infinite ammo at least. I'm not sure if they'll actually add these settings for 1v1. That could be another thing that they just really don't worry about on the main game of Apex Legends but you can be expecting a 1v1 mode for sure. Next up would be this weapon info screen which has been teased for the mobile version and I want to be clear I really don't believe this is coming to the main game for a couple of reasons. One, Tencent the studio behind the mobile version of Apex Legends working with Respawn also did PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile and this is a feature that they heavily had in both of those games. So it isn't something unique to Apex Legends. Along with that, the stats are completely inaccurate, seeming that this is just more of a load screen or that mobile has completely different settings. As the effective range of an RE45 is not 204 meters, that would be basically a sniper rifle. I, there's just no way. This is more likely something to just appease and be eye candy for the mobile users that have no actual bearing on the game whatsoever. There is one really interesting thing that is really hard to figure out if it's coming or not, and that is this new perk system. And it seems very cool, and I imagine it would be directly tied to that team deathmatch mode. So it really depends if Apex Legends for the main game want to add this kind of perk system, or if they want it to be pretty much just like arenas, but with rapid respawning and constant firefights. So the perk system, like I said, completely unknowable whether or not it will be coming. There's still a ton to look forward to in Apex Legends, even with all the bugs and other problems. Hopefully, these new modes and features roll out very well and very smooth, but let me know down in the comments what you think about the new stuff that's coming and what is your personal favorite. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands. I'll see you out there.